I pray I get the contract, it will help me grow in my career, I will get promoted and that will come with a huge paycheck. I believe in you my husband, you will get the contract. Let me go to the office, see you in the evening. Mr. Ryan, I want our company to win the contract, do everything you can we get the contract. I will try my best. I don't want you to try, I want you to do your best, next time we have a meeting, I want you to give me good news. Okay sir. Your company has been doing well in the recent years, I believe if we give you the contract you won't disappoint us. Sir we will not, we are the best in everything we do. Then let's go directly to signing the contract. Thank you sir. I thank god finally we have got the contract. Sir, we got the contract. That's wonderful, that's good news. This contract will help us as a company, you are promoted to the executive. Just like that. Yes, how did you want it to be? I'm just delighted for this. How did it go? I got the contract. Wow, that's amazing. So what about the promotion? I also got promoted, double blessings. That's good news. God is really blessing us my dear Sandra, please choose a country that you want to visit. Really my husband, I would like us to visit the Bahamas, I have had it's a nice place for vacation. Alright then, that's where we will go. Sandra my sister, what's with the bags? We are going on a vacation. What? And I came to visit you during this holiday. You know you could have called, now see you have wasted your transport. I even don't want to go to my place. In that case you can stay here and watch over Benjamin. Okay then. How can that family be doing well in everything they touch or do prospers? I cannot allow that, I will struck them with sickness and their finance will be over. Well, I can't believe I am going to visit the Bahamas. We will be visiting different countries during the holidays. We have come very far, I am so glad that we made it and now we are traveling to different countries. Days fly. It's our last day in this beautiful place. Let me pick this flower and give it to my lovely wife. Ryan watch out. Oh no, my husband, let me call an ambulance. Doctor, how is my husband doing? I am so sorry, I have bad news. Your husband's spinal cord got broken as he fell from the cliff. He need to go undergo surgery and we don't do that kind of surgery here. You will have to travel to India to undergo that surgery. Doctor, and what is the probability of him getting well? The chances of him getting well is minimum, only a miracle can happen. No, this is not true, my husband will get well, I don't believe this report. We have to travel to India to undergo surgery that the doctor advised. Please promise you won't leave me. How can I do that? You are my husband, I vowed that I will be with you in sickness and in health. Now I will stay with you until you get well. Thank you my dear wife, you are the best. Doctor, how did the surgery go? The surgery went well, but he will not be able to do normal things. No. You should come with him again after one month we check on him. Okay doctor. The doctor said that we should come again after one month. So that means we are not going to our country. Yes. We have to go back to our country. Yes, I want to see my son, I really miss him. Me too, he is probably wondering if we will go back. He is a good boy, he understood why we are stuck here. My husband, your credit card doesn't have enough money, this sickness has costed us a lot of money. I am back to zero and I can't get a job with my condition. You will try. How will I be able to move around while I'm in a wheelchair? We will just try. You will go try talking to your boss, we see if he will allow you work with your condition, I will also start looking for a job. Okay, I will try. Sir, I really want to come back to work. I don't think if you will be able to do your work anymore, and in fact there are no vacancies now. Sir please, help me, remember all that I did for the company, how fast has the company forgotten the good work I did? I am sorry, there is nothing I can do to help you. Sickness and disease is one of the financial spiritual robbers, the plan of the enemy when he struck with sickness is death, pray and let healing be your portion, whatever the report the doctors give, 
Remember that God said there shall be nothing impossible with him, no disease God cannot heal, and those in the captivity of sickness will begin to come out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Since my father got an accident, our lives has not been the same. I'm so sorry, I pray things get well with you. I have a huge fee balance, I don't know how my parents will pay it. God will fight for you and your dad will get well soon. I really pray so. How will you continue with your studies, Benjamin you know you haven't paid the school fee. It's because my dad who used to pay my fee is really sick. Benjamin we understand your situation, that's why we left you until now, you have to go home and try to talk to your parents. Why did the teacher call you? It's about the school fee. So what are you planning to do? I have to go home and tell my parents. I pray your parents to get the money. My son, why are you home? They sent me for school fee. Oh no. What will we do now? Our son has been sent home for school fee. And I don't have any money with me. I think we should now take him to a small school. That's a good idea. You will take him to the nearby school. Now that sickness has struck that family, I will have to bring death to that man before he gets deliverance. They stopped praying as they used to, since I brought sickness to them. I like it when the children of God focus too much on the problem rather than focusing on God. My husband, the checkup is in a month time, and we don't have money. I can't be able to travel to India, now I'm just waiting to die, it is like God has forgotten about us. Stop saying that, be positive, please stop speaking death upon yourself. This is the reality. Let me go to the market and buy some food you can eat. We don't have any in the house. Ryan wake up, Ryan wake up, stop playing with me, I'm not in the mood. Oh no, why are you leaving us, how will I explain to our son? I am so sorry my dear, God is the one who gives life, and right now he knows how hard it is for you at this hard times, and where is Benjamin? He is still in school, he doesn't know anything, I want him first to finish his exams then I will tell him. Why are you happy like this? I passed my exams. I was the top student in our class. There is bad news waiting for you at home. Bad news? What bad news? Your father is dead. No, it's not true. You are lying. Mom, where's dad? Is it true dad left us? It's true my son. No. Benjamin all will be well. How? And my dad is no more. How are you surviving? I'm trying to manage. I work in a company daytime and night shift so as to pay for Benjamin's school fee, and getting food on the table is really hard. I really miss my husband. You are such a strong woman. I will let you rest for now. I will be visiting you on your off days. I am still tired but I have to go work and provide for my son. I had your mom got an accident. Let's go see her in the hospital. Is she all right? I don't know, let's go and find out. Doctor we are here to see Sandra, she got an accident, how is she doing now? I'm sorry, we couldn't do anything, the accident was so fatal and we lost her. No, not again, why me, first my father died and now it's my mom. I'm so sorry Benjamin. You will come and stay with me after your mom's burial. Thank you auntie. My mission is accomplished, now Benjamin will suffer in this world. He will remain to be poor forever. So that's what has been happening in their family. Yes, he is really going through a lot. His father just died a year ago and now it's his mom. It's hurting. This story you have told me is not normal. I believe the devil took part in all these and were his parents prayerful. Yes, they were. But since sickness struck the family, they even stopped going to church. I see. Now Benjamin needs to be prayerful because the devil will target him as well. The devil comes to steal, kill and destroy. What are you trying to say? I am a Christian doctor. I believe this is not normal. I want you and your household to be prayerful so that you can defeat the devil. Thank you doctor. Death is another financial spiritual robber. The devil will come into our lives and take the breadwinner, so that people depending on that person may suffer and be in poverty. How can Tanya be that successful? We went to the same school, did the same course in university but she is more successful than me. What am I doing wrong? She is 25 years and bought a car for herself, 
and I am here struggling to get a job, I have to visit her. She has to show me the secret to her success. You are packing, where are you going? Mom imagine Tanya bought a car for herself at 25, I am 25 years too, no job, no future, still in my father's house, I'm going to visit her. She has to tell me the secret of her success, I want to be successful like her. All right, and have you called to let her know you are going to visit? No I haven't. Call her then, I'm sure she will not refuse. Okay. Hello Tanya, how are you doing? I am doing fine, I thank God. I saw your post online, you bought a car, I am really happy for you. Thank you Mercy. Tanya you know I still don't have a job, so I was thinking if I can come and stay with you for a short while as I look for a job. Sure you can come, feel free. I will come tomorrow. No problem, I will tell my gate man to open the gate for you when you come. Thank you. I will be expecting you. She agreed I can go stay with her, she has really made it life, she has even employed a gate man. That girl, God has really blessed her. I'm traveling using public transport while my mates are driving, this life no balance, I can't allow that. What can they do for you? I am Mercy, Tanya's cousin. Oh, you can come in, she told me you will be coming. Thank you. Long time Mercy. It's long indeed, I see you are doing well in life. It's God's favor, I'm really humbled. Tell me how did you manage to get this wealthy? You see after we graduated, while I was still looking for a job, I helped an old man cross the road, he then told me to take him to his house, I didn't want to go but he begged me so I took him, after arriving there, I didn't believe my eyes, he had a big house and beautiful cars, but he wouldn't drive because he was so weak, so he welcomed me and asked what I was doing in town, I told him I was looking for a job and then he offered me a good job. Well, it sounds like a movie to me, so what about his family? His three children are in the States, his wife died, so he has been living alone. Well, you were lucky that day. I tell you, since then my life changed drastically, it's two years and I have managed to achieve what people achieve in 10 or 20 years. I will help you get a job in the company I work. Thank you. You will see what I will do to you, everything you are boosting for, soon will be gone, let's see if you will be smiling again. Yes what brought you here? I want my cousin to lose everything she has, I want to have all that she has. You are at the right place, take this mirror and you will see your cousin, so whatever you want to happen to her, will happen by just the power of your tongue. Thank you master. What was the dream about, I saw Mercy trying to stab me with a knife, oh, it was just a dream. Let me go back to sleep. How was your night? I had a terrible nightmare. I saw you trying to stab me with a knife. How can I do that? You know you are my loving cousin and I came in peace. I don't have any evil motives. I'm just wondering why I dreamt like that. That's just a dream. Never mind. You are right. And today you have not prepared. Are you not going to church? I'm feeling unwell. I have a headache. Have you taken some painkillers? Yes I have. Tanya I need to talk to you. While I was praying for the church, I saw you in a pit that was dark and you were crying for help. Your life is in danger, I want you to be careful with the people around you. Pastor I also dreamt that my cousin wanted to kill me. You know I thought it was just a dream because my cousin is a good person, she can't do evil to me. God is trying to send you a message and don't ignore it. My cousin dreamt that I wanted to stub her. Take her face towel and pour this liquid on it. When she uses it, she will be confused. She won't know anything. Thank you wise one. I am so tired, I just want to sleep. Your food is ready, you can eat and go sleep. Thank you, I will eat in the morning. Why am I feeling dizzy and am from having a shower? Tanya, the container sank in the ocean. What? How did it happen? The ship capsized. We have lost millions. I am so sorry Tanya. Madam your house got fire. No, this can't be true. 
Why didn't you call the firefighters immediately? The neighbors came and helped me take out a few things. Now where are we going to stay Tanya? I have another apartment, we will go stay there. I told you to pray over your life, did you pray? I got so busy with work and forgot. We will be fasting for three days, and God will reveal to us what is happening. Alright. Father Lord open our eyes to see what is hidden, gave us spiritual eyes to understand the misfortune that has fell on Tanya. While I was praying I saw in spirit that those misfortunes are not by mistake, there is someone close to you behind everything that is happening to you. What? Who might that be? I believe when we finish our fasting, God will reveal everything to us. Where have you been? I went to the gym, I want to lose weight. This is the second day, Lord expose all my enemies, expose all my household enemies, let me move forward and whoever wants to stop my progress in life won't succeed, whatever I lost I recover two times, like the case of Job, I will be the head and not the tail for this I pray in Jesus name, Amen. Micah 7, 5-8, Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide, Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lit in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter reseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy, when I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I see the one doing all these to me is definitely someone close to me. Yes. Ouch, ouch, fire, I am burning, help me. So Tanya has decided to fight me spiritually, burning me with fire every now and then, I will do something to her that she will never forget. What are you thinking? Nothing, I'm wondering how you managed to buy another house despite everything that has been happening to you. That's called God's favor, God will never leave his servant. That's right. Today is the last day, God will make your enemy to be revealed. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Every Goliath in my life fall in the name of Jesus Christ, any war that they have put ahead of me will crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your cousin Mercy is behind everything that has been happening to you. What? I suspected but I didn't want to jump into conclusion, I can't believe this after everything I have done to her. It's you, why are you doing this to me, what did I do to deserve this? I am sorry, I only wanted to have what you have. Unbelievable, I even helped you get a job. I am sorry, forgive me, it was the devil's work. I forgive you, and since now you have a job, you will rent an apartment, you take time and repent your evil ways. Christ is waiting for you to repent and go back to him. Household witchcraft happens by someone close to you who is jealousy and envy you, because of their wickedness, Satan uses them to accomplish his mission. These people are so close and friendly and you can't even suspect, what you have to do is to pray for the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the enemies around you, God will show you. It might be your relative, parent, sibling, your husband, your wife. Sometimes it's the least people that you expect. Be blessed. Thank you for watching.